just had my moment. I, let me just show you. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I've been stressing about it for way too long, but I can't be in the city anymore. Good morning from the camera on my phone because I am lazy and I don't want to move five feet to get the battery for my camera. So there's probably a lot of background noise. <laughs> there's a lot of background noise in all my videos. Who am I kidding? I don't have good equipment. It's whatever. But we're going to leave Moab today. Um, I think I'm going to go through Canyonlands. I've not been, um, I'd like to go. So I think we're gonna drive through Canyonlands, but first I need to do some errands. And from there, we're gonna start heading towards Arizona, I think, slowly. But I know that I will be back for more snow because it's just who I am. I'm a cold hearted person, you know, I love the cold. We left the place that I'd been calling home for at least the last week, if not longer than that, and headed into Moab to complete some chores. I got gas, filled up the diesel heater tank, dumped my trash, and ran into the grocery store all before saying goodbye to Moab and honestly hoping that this would be the last time I would see Moab, at least until the spring. The red rocks gave way to a new landscape after not long on the road and it was crazy to look around me and see this stuff because I just drove through it a week before and I couldn't see any of it. It was snowing too hard. But eventually the new rocks started to look like trees. We crossed over mountain passes and it started to look like desert again. It was really kind of a weird vicious cycle all before the sun started to set and I found myself doing something I hate doing, driving at night. I got to my campsite late last night, which is, it's not a rule that I have, but I really don't like driving in the dark and I don't like to do that. So I like to get to the campsite when there's still daylight. Um, but I just had my first moment, like, I have followed so many people who live nomadically and they all have these moments where they say they got to their camp spot late and they couldn't see and they look outside the next day and it's like, and I just had my moment. I, let me just show you. So one of the reasons I don't like to get to my campsite at night is I can't see anything and I had no idea that it was as muddy as it was and I use um, these things called go treads. They double as traction devices and leveling blocks and I got them out last night to try to level myself because I'm very much parked on a slope. But <laughs> I don't know, I might have been able to still get out. I have good tires. but. Um, they ended up helping me get out of pretty deep mud. So, I should stick to my gut and don't show up after dark. All right, so I'm getting ready to walk the dogs. 
one of which is not happy she has to wait right now if you can hear her barking and I thought I would show you what I take with me when I walk them because this is the first walk we've been on without a coat in I don't know a long time so I put everything in a fanny pack because I'm cool um, okay so in my fanny pack purchased from Walmart along with many of the other things I'm currently wearing the front pocket has nothing but 100% duck jerky treats for penny and then in the main pouch we have my GoPro uh, I have my remote to Penny's um, e-collar don't worry I only beep and vibrate her she's never been shocked we have my key we have a roll of poop bags and there is a form of self-protection safety device that I'm not going to name because that wouldn't be wise. So I'm super pumped. It's supposed to be in the 50s like all week, which I hate hot weather. So 50s is like perfect. I'm going to walk without a coat on. Yes. I started out walking both of the dogs on leash instead of off leash. Not so much because I was worried about other people, but I was worried about coyotes. The night before, they were singing their song loud and clear, and I don't think they were close to the van, but you just never know where they may be hiding. We walked about three and a half miles and I did my best to wear the dogs out. I let them play for a while and when I could tell they were good and tired, we returned to the van for what I guess you could call some upkeep or chores maybe. I bought these solar lights. I mentioned in my video last week how much I hate taking the dogs out and I've actually had these for a couple weeks now. I just haven't been able to put them up but I think I don't I don't think I want to use magnets because I've heard that it can take the paint off your vehicle and if it's on the internet it's true. Please make sure that the solar light is installed in a place where it can receive good direct sunlight every day. Eh. Charge at least eight hours before first use. Mm -mm. Supplied key pin. There's a little tiny key that I'm absolutely going to lose. I mean, I could probably use a pin. I don't know, that's pretty small. There's a little bitty power button right there and that goes in so leave me a comment how long do you think it'll take to lose this this is gonna get lost for sure Floor looking up, wanting more. This is so unreal. 
So, a couple things. Um, one, my skin woke up a couple days ago and decided to choose violence because I have a massive crater on my face. This is, <laughs> it's huge. Like, it, I should name it. <laughs> it's horrible, it's all I can look at. So, I hope that you can look at something different. Um, waking up in a Cracker Barrel right now and today is Thursday. Um, I left that amazing campsite to come back into the city because there was really bad rain coming and I knew I was in a high area for flash flooding. So for safety reasons I came into the city. I also needed to pick up the package. Um, but I've been here for, this is the third night that I've slept at this Cracker Barrel. And I'm ready to go. But, um, the problem is, I don't know, two things. I don't know that there's going to be an open campsite out there. And I also don't know that I'm safely going to be able to get to it. Um, so, I woke up early today so that I can hit the road and try to get out there. If it's not possible, then I have enough time to come back into town and find a place to work, and then I don't know. Um, I have no idea how this is going to go. I've been stressing about it for way too long, but I can't be in the city anymore, so, so rolling out. Head south toward East Riverside Drive. Leaving this parking lot so early in the morning, well before the sun came up, had me feeling some interesting feelings. It reminded me of my time spent living in Nashville when I would often get to school at 6 a.m. and not leave until the custodian kicked me out long after dark. It took a lot for me to learn a work-life balance and I'm still not sure that I ever really mastered it. In hindsight, what made me start leaving work at work was Penny. Having a puppy at home gave me a reason to leave and forced me to accept that the stack of papers on my desk would still be there the next day. As the sun continued to rise, I laughed inside knowing that van life makes you reflect on some of the strangest times. I was really unhappy when I lived in Nashville, but I left with some incredible lifelong friends who I still talk to almost every day. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. If I didn't struggle for three years in Nashville, I might not be living in a van today. I know there are a lot of people who think I'm crazy for choosing this life, but honestly, I care more about the fact that I've been wearing the same shirt for four days than I do their opinion. Okay, we got a spot. It's not near as private as the other one. There are two campers that way and one that way, but we're here, we're safe. 
We have signal. <clears throat> Time to walk the dogs and get to work. You feel like summer days to me, warm, tender, sunny rays. I hope that we are meant to be. You say nothing at all when we meet, yet somehow I know your history. Oh, come what may, I'm ready. Picture frames like. Go, jump. The front pocket has no. Penny, you're ruining this moment. No, no, no. On when I'm in the city. Penny, come. Hey, come. Go. I didn't want them on in the city. I don't know. They kind of look like little baby Joshua trees. Penny? No. Buddy, stop. Seriously? Okay, buddy. I have a slight addiction to Diet Dr. Pepper and Coke Zero. You know, I know they're not good for me. So I am going to go on a mission to try all of the LaCroix flavors and give a review before I buy another pack. And I will say, I haven't had one since before Christmas and I'm really sad and it's just not the same. Last week I had coconut. I would say um, 4 out of 10, I don't recommend it. So this week we're going to try Raz Cranberry, which I don't know why I bought this because I don't like raspberries or cranberries. Okay, it's better than the coconut. Somehow, I know it's not artificially flavored, but it tastes extremely artificially flavored. <laughs> Naturally essenced BS. Six out of ten. Mm -hmm. 